So welcome everybody to uh, the CCLS Greece chapter launch. My name is Celia Blakeway Phillips and I'm the External Relations and Development Manager leading on the CCLS alumni activities. And today's event is part of a series of launch events um, as we've now got 19 chapters. Uh, and so today you can hear from Professor Ian Malden, uh, Director of CCLS, followed by Professor Lucas Mustelis, who's Professor of, Tra of Transnational Commercial Law and Arbitration. And he's also the academic attached to the Greece chapter. So it's a very informal event. Uh, Lucas will speak after Ian, and then a few of the committee members, and then it'll be over to you. So um, do feel free to either um, write any message in chat or say hello with perhaps your name, uh, year and uh, of studies and um, your course. And, um, and I'd like to uh, pass you over to Ian. Thank you. Thank you very much. And uh, first of all, I'd like to reiterate uh, Celia's welcome. Uh, it's lovely to see you all. Um, um, as Celia said, I'm Ian Walden. I'm, uh, I'm actually a, a technology lawyer um, as my day job, but uh, by night I'm director of the Centre for Commercial Law Studies. Uh, and uh, I have uh, been at the Centre for Commercial Law um, uh, for far too long, uh, 28 years. So um, uh, I, I've, uh, man and boy, I am a member, uh, a proud member of the Centre for Commercial Law Studies. So I'm very proud to be uh, to, to be leading it at the moment. I hope everybody's well and surviving under the, the current circumstances, which are uh, certainly not easy, uh, but uh, hopefully getting easier uh, as we, we we start to to get our vaccines and and the world starts to to, to open up. So we're hoping uh, hoping that will uh, you know. Uh, take uh, take place at a pace. Um, so as Celia said, we're establishing this uh, alumni chapter and, and, and uh, Greece was an obvious uh, an area where we wanted to launch a, a chapter because we've had and have so many students over the years from, from Greece and uh, many of which have stayed in London and many of which we are in contact with and, and I, I see many familiar faces here so it's really pleased to see you all and 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 Lucas uh, again who many of you will will know from your time at CCLS will will be the academic uh, lead. So um, CCLS since um, since well, some of you uh, were were here. Obviously, we've been having to uh, reflect the current situation. In in March 2020, we suddenly had to flip from uh, face to face to online, uh, which we which we achieved. And 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 um, despite the ups and downs, we're um, still providing the LLM uh, in the with the same quality, I think, uh, uh, as we were able to do in a physical environment. Clearly, the experience for the students may not be the same. Um, many students haven't managed to make it to, to London, clearly. Uh, but um, one thing we have learned through the online is, is you can be as intimate and integrated with as a class uh, online as you can in, in a physical environment. The thing that's really missing is the drinking that's that's not so easy in in, in a in a um, uh, online environment but uh, the government told us yesterday uh, that we won't be physical face to face until may uh, so we've still got some time to go um, the center has been celebrating its its 40th anniversary last year um, so we were established by uh, professor sir roy good in, in 1980 uh, so i think 40 years is 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 a, a very good landmark which was completely and utterly overcome by the pandemic so we weren't able to hold some of the events that we were intending to hold and some of which hopefully you were signed up to but we did run a whole series of webinars and i hope some of you were able to attend those and and uh, we are going to, 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 to run some dinners and, and other social events as soon as we possibly can. So we look forward to meeting you, as, as one of you said, we look forward to meeting you as soon as, as, soon as possible. 
the center uh, over those 40 years since uh, Roy established it has continued to grow. Um, we can, you know, we are the largest, we think we are the largest postgraduate law school in, in Europe. Uh, but at the same time, we, we, because of our specialism in commercial law and because of our um, uh, individual specialisms, we, we really do, I think, offer quite a boutique service in terms of areas such as shipping law and technology and arbitration. And, and, and some of you will feel as much uh, a, a, an alumni from your specialism as you do from the center. But, but part of this whole establishment of chapters is, is to really give you an opportunity to, to meet old friends, to, to stay connected with the center and, and clearly um, uh, continue to, to uh, have opportunities to, to learn and contribute to the work of the center. Uh, we continue to develop uh, our offerings, the way in which we uh, really try to provide a unique commercial law LLM. We are expanding in the area of employability to make sure that our, our teaching is as, as pertinent and, and useful for your future career as possible. We now offer over 250 opportunities of internships with companies like Airbnb in California to, to uh, externships and mentoring and, and uh, the opportunity to provide legal advice through our pro bono legal advice clinic, Q Legal. Um, our academics uh, continue to be at the cutting edge of, of research in commercial law with um, professors such as uh, Julia Hornler, who's just published a book on jurisdiction, but has had a significant impact uh, on the, the regulation of online gambling recently. Um, Duncan Matthews has been very busy recently in, in looking at the issue of, of policy towards access to medicines, which in an age of vaccinations is, is quite a, as you know, political topic. And, and, and we're also continuing to, to make, that, make sure that research has a real world impact and, and utilizing commercial law as a, as a tool of, of um, development. And uh, Rosa Lastra uh, has been at the forefront of establishing a, a, a sovereign debt forum uh, which is designed specifically to, to help advise countries, developing countries to, to um, be able to deal with some of the, the, the legal issues that arise from, from issues of sovereign debt. So um, CCLS continues to, to grow. Clearly, you know, the constraints of, of, of lockdown have, have uh, been frustrating in terms of our, our ability to develop. But, but one of the areas where we have really been investing over recent years is, is that of the alumni, because you are such an important part of the CCLS family. Uh, it's an opportunity, as I said, for you to, to both uh, network socially and, and professionally. Uh, and it's an opportunity for you to you know, contribute back to the center, we hope, uh, through mentoring, through getting involved in potential teaching opportunities or research projects, but generally just stay in contact because the LLM is, is clearly the qualification that many of you um, obtained when, when at the center, but, but we all know careers are much more um, diverse than they used to be in our parents' generation, and therefore the whole notion of lifelong learning is something that, that we want to offer to you as, as our alumni. So um, I just want to, to, to finish by again sort of welcoming you all here um, uh, today. We're, we're extremely uh, pleased to see you, uh, and I will now hand over to, to Lucas uh, to, to make some further introductions. Thank you very much. Thank you, Ian. I would like to keep the introduction very short because I think what is um, particularly interesting is to uh, to give you a chance to voice your concerns. I think Ian has given you a very good overview of what's happening at CCLS, given that I think we have people who have done the program over the last 20, 22 years, perhaps, and, and therefore there's quite a bit of range of which point of history you have captured um, CCLS. Um, uh, an interesting anecdote is that in in March 1990, I was, um, I was, I have um, almost about to apply to come to Queen Mary to do an LLM. And uh, on a Monday morning, I was sort of while I was doing all of that, I was, for those of you who is from, from the Athens Law School, 
I was in what used to be called Solomon's and Masalias, and it's called something else now. And um, a professor, um, uh, Constantine Kermeus, approached me and said, I know you from the classes. Would you like to go to Germany with a scholarship? And, um, and I remember after that, I, I talked to two of my professors because we were going on official visit to, to Luxembourg to visit the Court of Justice. And, and everyone told me, I mean, you'd be stupid not to take the scholarship and go to Germany. Um, uh, so, but how life brings things. Uh, and the, December 98, I joined um, CCLS and I've been there ever since. Um, I almost feel, uh, feel part of the furniture. And as you know, the furniture has moved from my land to Charterhouse Square to Lincoln's in Fields. And I hope that um, um, you would have had the experience of the various uh, uh, venues, um, which, each of which has its own attractions. Um, the idea of a, of a national chapter for Greece is, is great. I mean, for many, many years, one of the typical features of the LM is that we had a very good number of, of, of Greek students um, uh, spread in, around various of the programs, very strong presence in banking and finance, and now in shipping, and before, of course, also in IP and other areas. Now I hear medical law, immigration. So really in every single sort of part of the program, there's a very strong Greek committee. And, and one of the first um, CCLS alumni committees that were ever created was the Hellenic Arbitration Association, um, which became eventually the sort of the, uh, the, the seat for the alumni at the front of the School of International Arbitration. So uh, it seems like a, a circle that one is being done and, and is now done much more professionally and we have the support of, of Celia. Uh, so we have such a good presence in Greece. And, and one of the questions, of course, that always uh, students ask is whether they can stay in London just a bit longer, um, or if they were to go to Greece, that they will get to the right type of job. And, 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 and of course, pandemic is what it is, but uh, we are getting out of it um, sooner or later. And, 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 and we can work collectively to make sure that um, future generations have as good um, an experience or even um, um, better experience than you've had. Um, and uh, from sort of the networking, the interaction with academics, the interaction with other students. Um, and, and of course, eventually, I mean, this is a major network. So you will be interacting with other chapters. You might have a particular interest um, um, in, in Europe and elsewhere. So, so I think that is perhaps where we now are. And, and I would perhaps like to stop here and invite the committee members you know, with the help of Celia to introduce themselves. I think that is that the right to order, um, Celia? Very good. Sorry, I, I read the script. So, <laughs> so I, I would like the, I, I think Naya will go first. Is that, is that oh, Naya, you're speaking first? Okay, over to you then. Hello, it's a warm hello from my end. Uh, very grateful to be part of this nice um, community and uh, being a member of uh, the committee. I'm a dual qualified lawyer in, in, in UK and in Greece. Uh, over the last seven years, I used to live and work in London. And this October, I moved back to, to Greece, joining um, a leading Greek bank. So for me, um, my postgraduate studies with Queen Mary was a real passport that really upgraded my, my career path to my improvement as a person and as a professional. Um, allow me to, to, to say a couple of uh, informations around this nice initiative called uh, Chapter Greece. Um, definitely it's, uh, it's an initiative that it's addressed both to people that reside alumni that reside both in Greece or they live abroad. Um, so far, there are 148 members in the LinkedIn group, but uh, please feel free to, to share the, the, the news and, and see this network being expanding. Um, the, the chapter is, is by alumni and it's addressed to, to alumni and at this moment, it's uh, uh, eight members, the, the committee. Uh, the main objective of this initiative is to encourage networking of the alumni and, and participation in various uh, events. 
key element is to establish a, a mutual beneficiary relationship between the Greek chapter and CCLS. Uh, through that, obviously, we hope to see all these um, experience, expertise, and knowledge that all these alumni bring in to, to connect and uh, these alumni to stay close to CCLS and Queen Mary and through this channel uh, interact, have a network of, uh, of alumni sharing knowledge and expertise, but at the same time create a nice environment that will attract new talent and uh, will uh, uh, bring nice new students with Queen Mary and share the nice experience we have so far. Uh, definitely, it's a tool to raise uh, um, uh, the brand awareness of our um, of our school and our university. And uh, amongst others, is an amazing initiative to 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 join global activities uh, that's going to be really interesting for everybody that is taking part into. And that's from my end. So, thank you, um, Nayam. So, we, we, Marcia, over to you. You pass the baton. Would some other uh, committee members like to say a little bit about uh, their involvement and what they're up to? Lydia, would you like to go first? Yeah, sure. Uh, so, hi, everyone. Uh, my name is Lydia. Uh, I'm from Thessaloniki. I had the pleasure of uh, doing an LLM in 2017 at Queen Mary. Uh, this was, uh, let's say, my uh, stepping stone uh, to do very interesting stuff afterwards, like uh, working for the commission in Brussels, uh, joining domestic and international law firms. Uh, I worked in Athens as well at Carazas and Partners. Um, so during this time, I had the opportunity to meet a lot of uh, people, a lot of colleagues, and um, for me, the main reason for uh, joining the uh, CCLS chapter is basically to uh, meet people that have similar experiences with me. And I think that uh, the most important thing is that we will kind of share a pool of knowledge and experiences and uh, share our views um, and exchange ideas. And I think uh, when uh, the uh, COVID-19 is going to end and we're gonna be in a better position to organize more things like dinners and uh, different events, I think this will be also a very great opportunity for uh, all of us to uh, meet in person and discuss further. And uh, I'm uh, looking forward to uh, meeting you all in person as well. And uh, that's it, that's my personal experience. If I have something more to share, I will continue afterwards. Thank you very much. Thank you, Lydia. So as I see the screen, Yanni, do you want to go next? But you are muted. Yes, let me unmute. Well, I, I, as, I, as I said earlier, at least the committee members, I think when, when I saw the invitation and the, uh, the initiative, uh, I thought that this is a great idea, not only for all those reasons that uh, my colleagues did already mention, uh, but mainly because you feel like you're in a part of a family uh, and not only with people with whom you have spent the year in the LLM. And actually I'm very lucky because I see one of my colleagues here, uh, George Fundas, we took the LLM together in 2006. Uh, but also because I have a lot of other uh, students, a lot of my trainees have attended and I have encouraged them to attend uh, Queen Mary. And I know the way that uh, the lectures have been conducted. And I know that the classes are, how are, are being conducted and you feel somehow connected. Uh, and I don't know whether you know any, anybody else has this experience, but whenever I see, for instance, a, a, a CV or a colleague that has attended the Queen Mary, uh, we do have a lot of things in common to discuss. So I think this is a great opportunity for, uh, for everyone to connect. And uh, surprisingly, as Professor Mistelis did mention, is that uh, in Greece, there are many, many people that have studied their LLM at Queen Mary, many more than we can imagine. Uh, and I think, I mean, I've seen already 35 participants 
I mean, this can easily exceed the 100, 150, which we hope that we do uh, in the next uh, years, especially once the COVID uh, experience uh, passes, hopefully next year. Uh, and I think it is a, a really a great experience and we will get invaluable uh, knowledge from each other and from connecting with each other. Uh, particularly also from different disciplines as well, because we see that people have studied different types of LLMs, but we all work in pretty much the same environment. We know uh, pretty much the way, uh, you know, international business is done. And I think this is something which our university has greatly assisted us with. And I think it's a really nice opportunity to, to connect. Thank you, Jan. Uh, Mariana, would you like to go next? Hi everyone, my name is Mariana. I am from Thessaloniki. Um, I did my LLM in immigration and medical law in 2018. And I've been living in London since, and I'm working in immigration, which is very busy at the moment. Um, the reason I joined CCLS committee was because um, I will be flexible in terms of working from home in Greece and working in London. So I thought it would be a good idea to get to know people that are actually living in London now and people that moved back to Greece. Um, and yeah, I look forward to seeing everyone. Thank you. Nasa, would you like to go next? Uh, thank you. Hello to everybody. Some people I know from the years back in Queen Mary, some people I know from the 20 years of being a lawyer in Athens. Uh, we have a common ground, which is our years are here in uh, Queen Mary in CCLS. Uh, for me, Lucas, uh, excuse me for saying that, Lucas is almost family. Uh, I went uh, to London in uh, September of 1999, straight from uh, Thessaloniki, where I studied. I, was born and raised in Athens. I studied in Thessaloniki. And uh, I think I was the youngest of uh, the students in CCLS with uh, the expected consequences in <laughs> um, way of thinking and behavior and with a ponytail then, uh, which became a nickname for me. And even in the following years when I had the pleasure and honor to join Lucas in uh, some professional occasions. <laughs> when I remember going to meet him in Lincoln's, in Lincoln's Inn uh, at the time, because when I was in 1999, uh, CCLS was split between my land, uh, uh, the Barbican station and many other places in London. And I was called Mr. Ponytail. Uh, when I, received the invitation, I was uh, sentimentally touched, that's, that's for sure. And I hope we will all uh, have the opportunity through this to give back what we got. Thank you. Very good. And yes, indeed, ponytail was coined by my then secretary, Sandra Bird. I mean, when we used to have secretaries in the good old, gold, old days. Um, Theonymphi Mariana, uh, and I think. Oh, I already spoke. I think now you mean the other Mariana. The other Mariana, yes, sorry. <laughs> Hi, we are two. Yeah, uh, so I studied um, the LLM of commer commercial and corporate law, and I graduated in 2017. I stayed in London since then, and I worked for um, Trevor Smith, a law firm. Um, I joined the committee because I think it's a great opportunity for people with the same experience as everyone said to share their knowledge, their experience and to keep in touch because that was something that we missed up until now. Very good. Um, I think we might have had the entire committee already and, and, and Natasha has raised her hand. Hello to everybody. Hello. Hello. Uh, I am uh, Natasha Kurenzi. I joined the LLM course at uh, 2001, if I recall <laughs> well. 
Uh, it's nice to see you, Professor Mistelis. I have to say that you helped me a lot to join the course. Uh, when I received the invitation, uh, I, I was very glad uh, because um, it felt like uh, it made sense, all this effort that we've made so many years. And uh, it is like very, very strong roots of uh, my life and my studies. And I see also my friends here that we were together and we continued to be together after the course. Um, this course gave me a lot of uh, effort, a lot of um, uh, qualification to start my career in 2002 in Greece. Uh, actually, the things were very promising then. And with this qualification, I had a very, very good beginning. Of course, we all uh, lived in the um, years of uh, 2009 to 2012 where the big crises and things were very difficult. We had to a little bit uh, rethink uh, our position in this uh, profession. Uh, now I'm a um, scientific advisor at the municipality of Varivula Vulyagmeni under my, uh, as a lawyer. And uh, still this course, this experience helps me very much because um, even if the things are very difficult in our professor profession, uh, especially when you are a freelancer, uh, all these experience, the way that we learn to, to study, to evaluate our knowledge, to, uh, read a lot of things for legal opinions. All this is still very, very strong and uh, helps me a lot in my career to, 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 to go on. Uh, I'm very glad to see you all. It is uh, very, very nice. And I hope sometime this meeting, uh, very soon, I hope, uh, will take place uh, when we can all be together uh, not through the internet and see each other and discuss, talk, have fun, share experiences and all these things that we, we had for granted those years. Nice to see you all. Uh, I wish for everybody the best. Thank you, Natasha. Before we move to Michalis, who also raised his hand, perhaps I should invite Miriam, uh, one of my colleagues who is on the call and who, many of you who either do work on, on the shipping program or, or some of the insurance programs as well might know here very well or com general commercial law just to say hello as well formally. Hi everyone I'm gate crashing here I'm not an, alum not an alumna <laughs> uh, but I wanted to say hello um, uh, to all my former students and also I have a current student on as well uh, Joanna. Um, Really nice to see you all. Uh, it, it's, um, well, it was a pleasure teaching you. Uh, I hope you all stay in touch. Um, and yeah, I, I'm not sure if there's a, an, an international shipping law member of the committee, but there should be one if there isn't. Mm -hmm. So, so volunteer. <laughs> I want a shipping law member on the committee. Anyway, guys, uh, um, really nice to, to see you all. Uh, take care. I, I, I can't stay any longer, unfortunately. Duty calls. Um, uh, but yes, yeah, stay in touch. And hopefully next time I see you, it will be at a party in Greece. Um, that would so, be great. <laughs> it would and, be and awesome. Because, because, because of your shipping friends might be even on a nice yacht. So we don't even have to do it on the ground. Exactly. Let's, let's have it on a boat. <laughs> let's have it on a boat. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. Take care, so, guys. Bye-bye. Thank you, Miriam. Michali, you raise your hand. Good afternoon. I want to say hello to everybody from Xanthi, Greece. Perhaps I am the oldest here. I used to be a postgraduate student for the LLM in 1987. I remember my favorable professor, Professor Smithhoff, in International Trade of Law. Uh, I want to say hello to everybody and uh, an excellent initiative to gather again, uh, together again. And uh, it's a nice thing. 
I really like to see too many new uh, lawyers here. Um, anyone from my age and from my years. Uh, I hope I, I hope I will meet again someone from the 1987th year. And I want to say hello to every one of you. Thank you, Mihaly. So I, I would then, I see we have no other hands raised. Um, uh, 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 Are you Yes. Uh, Professor, hi. This is Katerina Simopoulou. I have joined uh, by phone uh, because I oh. have some uh, technical problems. So, hello to everybody. Hello, Katerina. Uh, hello to everybody then. Uh, it's a pleasure for me as well to, to join this uh, alumni. I was uh, very happy that I received the invitation because I, I got... Uh, uh, some uh, ye uh, years ago, when uh, I joined also Queen Mary, the the, the course, uh, actually the course uh, gave me uh, the the opportunity to to go international, to go to um, uh, to to credit institutions also in uh, in Europe besides uh, Greece. I've joined uh, after the course uh, Eurobank and then uh, Credit Suisse. Um, it's a very, it's a, yeah, it's a very big a pleasure that I am with you. Unfortunately, I can't see you, but uh, I can, I am listening to you. So hello to everybody, and uh, especially to Professor Mistelis. Professor Katerina. So um, I, I think I think actually the committees are for you, not for us. I mean, we are we are here to facilitate that the, 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 this cooperation exists, but. But ultimately, it's for you to design the Greek committee the way you think works best. And, and interestingly enough, for example, different committees have taken different ways. I mean, the, the Indonesia chapter has had a series of seminars on issues where they think that are of um, topical um, uh, interest for them. There was quite a bit on telecoms regulation, for example, on on on, um, on on similar topics, um, the, the the Colombian committee is putting together a conference because uh, they want particularly to um, uh, ad address the question of the anniversary of the Colombian uh, 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 code of, of commerce and uh, commercial code, and, and 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 they would like some involvement from Queen Mary, but. Uh, there's again uh, people who do different things, so there's no one way in which it could work. And 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 a poll has been created by Celia uh, at the recommendation of the committee to ex to express sort of what could should be your focus. From what I get, and I very much 100% supported uh, the very basic idea of networking and 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 getting together in in informal fashion. And getting a drink or, or two or three uh, is perhaps something that everyone desires, particularly in the current environment. Um, and, and, and hopefully things will get um, to where they need to get um, uh, uh, very soon. So I, I'm, I'm already launching that poll um, that uh, asks you to uh, specifically um, indicate what would you like to do. But, but the floor is open. Um, uh, the very basic etiquette is just raise your hand, and, and so we keep a record of who wants to say something, and 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 and, and feel free free to 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 join the discussion. I see that the voting started. Uh, so, does the committee, for example, have specific priorities, or would like it to be Athena? You ask for the floor. Hello, hello to everyone from me as well. I'm Athena Afro, and I, I'm I'm coming from Athens, and I'm based in Athens currently. Uh, I graduated back in 2013 from um, CCLS, um, and I'm currently working as an in-house lawyer. A short introduction, actually, and I'm currently working as an in-house lawyer in the railway operator in Greece, 
and uh, having a freelance activity in, P in PPS in Greece. Mm -hmm. What I want to mention that is really, really important, uh, in my opinion, is that since now we have an organized um, attempt initiative to uh, have this uh, alumni network, it is really important to, to be creative and to get into specific ideas I mean, I, I say that to the whole group of people who are actually attending the meeting right now, because it's up to us to create what we want to see uh, have, uh, to want what we want to see coming. Uh, so this poll and any other ideas is really, really important. I, I could not agree more. I mean, we want that to be driven by you. We're just there to facilitate. I mean, and. And if you don't need us, even better. I mean, but uh, but I think we, we would like to to join from time to time. And 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 very, very the very interesting strands from from what I see, uh, I see that some of you already work in regulation, some of you you work in in in, in compliance. Um, there's sort of the broader commercial activity. Uh, there's a lot of names I recognize from dispute resolution, mediation, arbitration. So. So the, there's a lot of different strands, and and, it, and and given that we have a thing already about 140 members on the LinkedIn group, uh, which is a very very good um, indication. Uh, of course, it's inevitable that that not all events will be um, interesting to to everyone. So so, um, uh, but the group is big enough, so to to be able to do whatever we need to have, uh, and, and, and there will be critical mass. If, even if we do something that is not of, of general interest. So yes, I, 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 have, I have done 149 members of the LinkedIn group. And, and this is actually wonderful. This is really um, a very good place to be. So um, initiatives should be encouraged, even if they're not in one's main uh, research area. I mean, um, I mean, you are working on a sort of a privatized, semi-privatized utility, for example. I mean, there's a bigger sector there that, that, that has also Quite a bit of, of scope of discussion, and 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 sometimes there will be interesting English perspectives, there will be European perspectives, there will be interesting perspectives from other parts where you might want to um, to bring in um, people in, in in the picture. So um, so so uh, I, 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 it's, it's entirely up to you to to, to identify what what uh, drives your interest particularly. So. Uh, you see the results of the poll. Um, social catch-ups is a networking uh, substantive updates uh, are the th the three top as we suspected that might be. Um, I don't know whether the committee would like to. Um, I mean, I think the committee. One of the questions we should be asking is whether any member of the committee, anyone would like to join the committee. I mean, uh, um, again, it's not a, a closed uh, operation because um, CCLS is, is so broad and there are people who have done so many different things. So um, that's something that you might need to uh, either communicate to Celia or to the existing committee. And, and you saw uh, Miriam's desire that it's good to have somebody with a shipping background, um, although. Yanis, I think, does quite a bit of shipping, um, but although has not done the shipping LLM, is that right? Yeah. But I see a former student that he is a, 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 an LLM uh, shipping uh, student, and I think he graduated uh, last year or not, and, uh, Miriam's a student. And incidentally, he's not uh, a lawyer, so it's uh, quite nice also to have, uh, uh, you know, as I said, diversity. Uh, so yeah. if he wants to join, uh, He's very happy, you know, very welcome to. We'll do with it in my years. I'm already sending my message. We'll do. We'll do. Very good. <laughs> so I'm I also guess, glad to see that. The, I that guess, this. Lucas, that an, amongst other priorities, other than networking, probably we could be a nice local hub to support other students from Greece yeah. that would like to take postgraduate studies in, yeah. in, in Queen Mary, sharing our experience and guidance. Uh, for me, when I came in, in, in UK first time ever, 
for all these studies. It was another alumni that uh, just took me by hand and showed me the way around. So I guess this should be part of our uh, major targets. One, bring us together and then how to expand this network so more people can join. I mean, for sure, I have to say that um, given that, uh, although Quimera is very big, I mean, the LLM market is, a, for lack of a better word, a competitive market. And, and, and my experience tells me that whenever I've been traveling, um, if I had uh, half an hour or, or 45 minutes or an hour to meet with, with um, uh, students who have applied and have been accepted, but they were not sure whether they would be happy to come to, to London or not, that the conversion was significant if, if I were prepared to do that. And, and I have done it, um, at, interestingly enough, never in Greece, uh, but, uh, but I've met students in hotels in Moscow and in, um, in Singapore and, and New York and uh, all parts of the world and, and, and uh, Brazil. So just to get to know a bit more about the program from somebody who has had the experience and actually your experience is perhaps more critical for that than, than mine, because I, I can always be accused of being a, a seller for a community program. But, but you have been somebody who has gone through the program and have a, a very different experience, a different understanding of, of good and bad things. I mean, take this course, don't take this course, or, 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 or all of that of that type. Nasson? Uh, I think that given the fact that this takes place uh, in the middle of the pandemic that will definitely leave a mark in the way things are done. And with the second factor being the Brexit, which has not been felt at this point because traveling and uh, scheduling and programming is out of the question more or less when it comes to the boundaries of uh, the prefecture you live in, at least this is the case in Greece. Uh, I suppose that uh, we could take advantage of the fact that we are talking about a, an academic institution and this is the main issue and the main factor of connection. And maybe, you know, a snapshot of a, a well-prepared uh, webcast of 10 minutes with something that is trendy or something that is puzzling or something that is changing or whatever. Uh, might be a very good teaser either for the existing and participating members or the potential uh, future candidates uh, or uh, uh, either further or recent uh, alumni. Uh, the social networking, we have had, I think, two of our trainees uh, having studied in uh, Queen Mary. And my experience from the, uh, it was two years ago when the uh, conference took place for the, for the celebration. It was more than two years, I think. You mean more here in Hilton? It was sometime like this or early summer or something like that for, in Hilton. Yes, yeah, it was something like It was two years, years ago. ago, I think. Yes, maybe. Uh, I think that this is the best case scenario, but this is costly. Uh, this is uh, uh, provided that the coronavirus will not uh, extinct such activities. And this, uh, how many are we today? 40. I think up to 40 people have joined the call yeah. at different times. Yes. The people res registered in the CCLS uh, LinkedIn, which is just a click, are 150. So we are something like 100 short. And the people that I was in uh, back to, in 2000, Natasha, which came uh, one or two years later, remember the period, the era, it was different. Uh, you walked along my land and you thought you were in Kolonaki. The, um, the number of Greek students in international trade law, which had something like 60 nationalities, was 25% Lucas or something like that. And, and it was intercollegiate. So we are 40 people just by a click and I'm not judging anyone. 
but we have to take very small steps with something that is quid pro quo. And the pro quo, I think that coming from an academic institution could be something useful. No, no, I agree, I agree. So I'm trying to see whether Jen Ioana has raised, Ioana had raised her hand and put down. Um, Oh yes, hi everyone. I just wanted to say um, I am a current. I'm not an alumni yet, um, so I'm a current uh, international law, uh, international shipping law student. Uh, so uh, Professor Miriam Goldby is my professor actually, and yes, uh, um, you know this event popped in in my email, and I was like, okay, let's let's get into it. Yeah. So thank you for organizing this um, this event, Luca and Celia. So yeah. My pleasure. So um, I, I'm not sure what we would like to have as as um, next steps. I, th I think committees which are, chapters which are a bit smaller. I mean, 160 roughly, and LinkedIn is not very small. Um, and they use different options. They use, for example, I think if I'm not mistaken, Celia, the whole Colombian chapter is on WhatsApp. Um, uh, I think LinkedIn is a is an easy way to communicate with each other. Um, there could be other options, of course, as well. Um, but uh, I think we are there to support. I mean, we are happy to be used for brainstorming purposes. It's also interesting to see that there's a number of people from um, uh, who are in London. There's a couple of people who are in in the north. I mean, we had at least um, a couple of people in Thessaloniki, and we have, of course, Michalis in Xanthi, and and perhaps the majority is in Athens, um, um area. So it, it might even be that that there is scope to develop um, uh, programs and activities in, in different parts of the country. I mean, that's also relevant. Uh, I think I think it's important to decentral, decentralize to the extent we can. So, uh, so I see Yannis in Cambridge. Um, so. So th there's quite a bit of range of sort of of, of people. So that that's actually very nice. Silly, I think uh, Athena, sorry, or no, 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 no. no hi, hi everyone, and, and my apologies for not being able to to connect uh, earlier. Uh, I was on another meeting, uh, but it's fantastic, and I'm very pleased to be part um, of. Uh, of, of this community and uh, I'm very pleased to see uh, familiar faces or names uh, around. Uh, and I just wanted to say that I, I, not having joined the conversation previously, so forget me if I, 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 I say something that you have already discussed, but uh, organizing a drink, drinks from time to time would be fantastic. Uh, and I also think that the, the idea of putting together a WhatsApp group would be great. So that was it. Thank you, yeah. and it was very nice. Talking. And and you could also qualify to be for on the on the on the France chapter as well, if you wanted to. But uh, but you but I think it's good to connect with the Greek colleagues as well. Uh, exactly. No, it, it's easier for me if you want to to see people who are from the unofficial Absolutely. France uh, French chapter. Agreed. Agreed. <laughs> but, uh, I'm very pleased to be a member of the Greek one as well. That, that's great. No, no, absolutely. We're delighted to have you. So, um, Celia, what is the, the next step? Um, well, I think it's worth mentioning that uh, in the coming months, there'll be another opportunity as well for um, promoting the chapter through the Queen Mary network, because it's just currently having a bit of a revamp. So that would be another opportunity that will be coming up uh, as part of the different, way of, different ways of communicating and perhaps um, uh, having discussions, etc. So um, there's, there's a couple more people who've just literally um, arrived. I don't know, 
Uh, Nicolas, I don't know whether you'd like to say a few words. We've just been talking about perhaps, you know, uh, what everyone's been doing or hopes for the chapter. I don't know if you can hear me. Nicolas Stavrop or anybody else who just arrived? Otherwise, um, we've got five min minutes to go. Uh, so I don't know if anybody else would like to say anything at all. The, I think some members of the committee will be available um, after, what is it, eight o'clock your time. Um, if you would like to carry on chatting, that's entirely up to you. Anyone else got anything to add? And if not, um, I'd just like to reiterate to perhaps, you know, join the LinkedIn group. Uh, the link is in the chat. Otherwise, um, contact me after the, this event um, and do join that. So there's the Greece LinkedIn and also the CCLS LinkedIn. So that um, promotes, you know, lots of things that are going on. Um, and, you know, feel free to perhaps uh, start a discussion in LinkedIn, if you would like, or at, at the very least to perhaps reshare something that you've seen of interest that you think might be, um, you know, good for, for uh, the members of the chapter, um, that might, um, you know, to, to share you know, knowledge or whatever's going on um, on LinkedIn. So uh, in the meantime, I would also just like to thank very much the committee uh, we've met, I think, just the once. Uh, so it's early days, but, um, you know, they're a really great group of people who are very enthusiastic um, to take uh, this chapter forward. It's a, it's a, it's a group that, um, you know, the chapters are run by alumni for alumni. So, uh, you know, I think that poll will be useful to them in terms of giving them guidance as to perhaps what to plan, but uh, do contact either myself or Lucas Maselli's or, or any of the committee members with anything that you ever would like um, to share. And um, you know, if you ever feel like speaking at an event or something, then, then um, obviously let us know. So perhaps um, we could finish officially. Uh, I could stop uh, filming and um, and then feel free to carry on here if you would like and just chat informally. Um, so I think I will just, um, bear me a second, I'll stop recording.